Hey buddy, how are you doing? Russ here and uh, I'm on errands today. So I had to go get a little blood drawn for my physical. And then uh, drop some clothes off to be tailored. Not that anybody cares about all that. But uh, on the way, a couple of things. Yeah, I have a new project that I'm working on. I've been actually working on it for a year. And it's a, um, oops, what's going on here? Okay. Yeah, I've been working on it for a year. It's a 320 unit project. And I'll probably take you out in my car in the next few days, show it to you. Um, but I'm doing a due diligence because I haven't done a big development like this in a while. And so finding out the comps, the land cost, it's a, it's a huge deal. It's actually a property I bought in 2002 for $1,300,000. I sold it in 2005 for $8 million, And it had no water, no sewer on it. And 13 years later, just about a year ago, the bank called the foreclosed on the people I bought it from. And they offered to buy, they, they had an FDIC audit or whatever it was. And so they asked me if I wanted to buy it back. So, of course, first question is, well, you know, sorry, I'm looking at traffic. First, first question is, uh, you know, how much? Well, they told me for a quick sale, and I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but, but it's how it happens. A quick sale, they would sell it back to me for a million five, being a partner. I already sold it for eight million uh, 13 years ago. Or uh, actually, uh, I sold it um, 11 years ago. So now it's vacant land, there's water and sewer. It's a zone for 320 units. And then there's one corner we can build commercial. So I'm going to fill you in on this. I've just done the due diligence what the comps are, the building costs, about a $41 million build. And I know if, if you're just a beginner or intermediate in real estate, that would seem way out of reach. But as I talk to you more about the detail of this, I'm going to walk you through this over the next so many months, you know, piece at a time. I just want to be something that excites you. Now, if you could see out you, if you could see here what I see, this is an apartment building which looks like it got hit by the hurricane. It's just two blocks from my office. And looks like there's a lot of vacancies. There's some windows broken, boarded up. So I have um, one of the staff guys in my office looking up the address here and find out who the owner is. There's actually three buildings here. <coughs> this looks like it could be a very, very good buy at a nicely reduced rate. A lot of cosmetic improvements. So, um, you know, this is how some of my day goes. Now, I don't, you can't see on the other side, maybe unless I turn around. But my office building is about two blocks the other way, which is where I work mostly on my uh, real estate stuff. Um, I do do some of the social media and internet things there as well. And um, so that's my day today. <laughs> <laughs> I love this social media stuff because you don't have to be on, you have to be right to point, you have to get everything right. I just get a chance to chat, which is always fun. And you know, when I do a deal like this, when I'm on right now, that Four Corners, um, I make decisions by consensus. And we'll talk about that, you know, you know um, maybe tomorrow or something like that. But I, I go pitch it to anybody and everybody that I know that's smart and it's in the, in, in the know. And, uh, and I see what the feedback is. It helps you make decisions. That's some of the things we'll learn along the way. And tomorrow, maybe I'll give you a call. Tomorrow I'm going to meet the mayor of Cape Coral, the new incoming mayor who's in office now. Because he's allegedly very development-minded, building-minded. It's always good to have the mayor and city council on your side. And that stuff, you know, he doesn't know who I am. Uh, I find out somebody who knows the mayor, which is Bob O'Connor. You'll meet him tomorrow. Uh, he is a broker with Sperry Van Ness. About 180 brokerages throughout the country, and um, he's he was friends with the mayor, so I just had me talk to him, and, and he said, "You know the mayor," so it happened he did, and this is today. So tomorrow I got a one o'clock meeting with the mayor. So stay tuned, and you'll meet him too, too, and you'll get to see how some of those meetings go. All right, man, signing off.